Sonia. Before we get started, have you subscribed to the channel? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button now. Okay. Now we are in the season of cookouts and family gatherings and you're wondering what can you take, right? Barbecue is great, but we're gonna make Dr. Pepper pulled pork sandwiches in the Instant Pot. And guess what? You can make it, season it, cook it in all under 30 minutes. You need to feed a crowd. You have a lot of people coming over. This is going to do it for you. You ready to give it a try? Come on, let's cook it in an instant. Okay, let's start with our Boston butt. Let's commonly refer to it as the butt, okay? We're gonna start with the butt and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this Boston butt into four pieces, into quads. This is gonna make it easier for it to cook, easier for you to season. So go ahead, cut it into quads and we're gonna season it up. Now you guys know I love my garlic powder. I use some onion powder, salt and pepper, whatever your seasoning of choice is, go ahead and do it. But just remember that this is going to be in the pressure cooker. So you want to use a little bit more seasoning than you would typically if you were just cooking it in the oven. So turn it over, season all four sides, make sure every single piece, every single piece of meat has seasoning on it. Okay, let's head over to the pot. We're gonna chop up some onions. Now, I love onions. You can use one, you can use three, but we're going to layer the bottom of the Instant Pot with onions. Layer the entire pot, because remember, this is gonna add to your seasoning and cooking of the meat. Now, let's take our seasoned Boston butt, or our butt, <laughs> and add it directly on top of those onions. We're just gonna layer it directly on top of the onions in the pot. And right now we're ready to start creating our mixture. So let's go ahead and pour in that Dr. Pepper. You got a 20 ounce bottle, go ahead and pour the entire thing in. And we're gonna go ahead and add that directly in the pot. Now next up, you wanna go ahead and add in that apple cider vinegar. So pour it on in there. And guess what? That's all you need and we're ready to cook. That's it. Okay, we're gonna put our top on, seal that valve in the back, and here is the disclaimer, guys. We're going to cook this for 18 minutes per pound of butt. Now, I have a six pound butt, so I'm gonna cook this for one hour and 10 minutes. The smaller the butt, the less amount of time that you need to cook it, but we're gonna cook it for 18 minutes per pound of meat that you have. That's how long you're gonna cook it. Once that timer goes off, we're gonna do something a little different and we're gonna let the pressure naturally release. So we're gonna let it sit there for 26 or 30 minutes and then we're gonna seal that valve in the back or release that pressure in the back. So whatever remaining um, pressures in there will actually come on out. Now, while I was letting that pressure come out, I went ahead and pulled out my gadgets. You guys know I love gadgets. So I actually have here some shredders. They work great on chicken. They work great on pork. Now, of course, you can use two forks if you have it, but I actually use this to shred the chicken or the pork or whatever it is I'm shredding for my meal because it makes it a little bit easier. And of course, a nice cutting board. And our Boston butt is complete. Look at there, it cooked in the juices and the onions. It is so tender, but we're not done. Let's head on over, put it on that nice cutting board and shred it up with those shredders. And here is your finished product. You have pulled pork ready to put in a sandwich, add on top of salads, put on top of rice. You have multiple things you can do with it. And guess what? This freezes really well. So if you're not having a lot of people come over, you're not gonna use it all, go ahead, put it in some bags or some containers, put it in the freezer and pull it out whenever you're ready for it. Wasn't quite sure what to do with that pulled pork. Go ahead and top it with a little barbecue sauce. You can make sliders, you can make sandwiches, add a little bit of coleslaw to your sandwich have coleslaw on the side. There's so many things you can do with it. And guess what? I can't wait to hear how yours turned out. Go ahead, comment below and let me know how you liked it. How did it turn out? I promise you, you will not taste the Dr. Pepper in it. I hear people all the time say, I don't like Dr. Pepper, but I promise you that is not the taste you're gonna get. It is so moist and juicy and delicious. I cannot wait to hear. Comment below, let me know what you think about it. Still haven't subscribed? No worries. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button now. You don't want to miss out on those new exciting recipes. And do me a favor, follow me at Cooking in an Instant with Sonia for more tips and tricks on cooking those instant meals in your instant pot.